together we are Team King! Yes, sir! What's, What's up, Team King? Okay, y'all, in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is putting the Christmas tree up. We finally got BK here with us, y'all, because uh -oh. that's what we've been waiting on for a whole week with this tree. So, yeah, we're gonna get straight into it. Yeah. BK pulling the tree out the box. Is your first time putting the tree together, babe? Yeah. Well, I got my parents here. So, yeah. Yes, we're making our own traditions, y'all. Hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. The girls helping daddy? Let me say, trying. Yeah. 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 Okay, hey, go over there with mommy. You got a good job, right? Okay, that's all the pieces, y'all? Yep, that's all. Okay, so we're going to let daddy set this bottom part up with this. Let's lay that down on the floor, huh? Grab my flip flops. Okay, grabbing the flip flops, y'all. This has to be the top. What has to be the top? This. Yeah, that is. So you just lay it down flat, okay? Okay, y'all. We got all the little ornaments and stuff on the floor. The garland. This one has sheet on it. I don't know. Uh huh. We got the garland. We got. We got some stuff in here, y'all. Yeah. This one is the top, so we're gonna have to wait for that. Yeah. Hold on, Bree. Okay. Which one goes first? That's a good question, but I think that piece right there is pushing up. Is it? We sure are gonna figure it out, y'all. This is my first time. I've put together a list too. Okay, so what's the first? We got numbers, right? Yeah, we have okay. numbers. So this uh, this will be my first time. BK said he done um he did this with his parents a few times, y'all. So our other two wasn't as complicated. It was real small. Here, hold on. We get it together, y'all. Slowly but surely. It's pretty. Oh, slip. It's pretty. Okay. That looks a lot better. No, that does. I know it. Mm -hmm. That part was already in it. That pulled it in the top. This tree bigger than BK. What bigger than BK? That is 7 feet. 7 feet. That's almost that tall. Well, no, you're not. <laughs> now don't let that camera fool y'all. You're a good five, what? Five eleven? Oh, oh six feet. Uh, six, six ten, six eleven. Daddy! Most people say I'm six twelve. I know you gotta be fluffing these things up. Let me start up. Oh, bro, 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 stop before you fall and hurt yourself, baby. So, Daddy, you got peace. I'm so. Daddy, you pick me up. Like you already know. What you want me to pick you up? Put it on. Okay, you want to do this? Yes. Hold on, hold on. Stay okay. where you at. I'm not. Grab that. So while they do that, y'all, me and baby, hold on to it. So our tree don't look so skimpy. I'll put this on there. There he is, finally. Daddy! You start, baby? I'm gonna jump. 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 i what Christmas bath do you remember the most? Oh, well. We went to, um, I'm from Donaldsonville, but we drove up to Atlanta for a Christmas. And we celebrated at my auntie Lisa house. And all of my uncles, Uncle Lance, and all of them, Uncle Anthony, played like, um, I don't forgot there was a person. I want to say, who is it? They played like some Christmas character besides Santa Claus. And I remember getting a doll that was real big, like the dolls that stand up off of the ground. And that was like the best Christmas because I got to spin it with my cousins that live in Atlanta, 
And it was different from all the other Christmases that I had with just, you know, me, my mom, and my sister and brother. So I got to see all my first cousins. We got to do little different things and enjoy ourselves, play with each other. And my uncles made it, like, even more fun. By, you know, acting all animated and everybody was in the spirit, if that makes sense. What about you? Um, my favorite, uh, my favorite one that I can remember was uh, I probably was about 11, 11 years old, maybe 12, and uh, my mom had set us up to not expect anything for Christmas. You know, so the times was tough, and you know she wasn't able to buy gifts for all of us, and. Uh, you know, as tough as it was, we kind of prepared ourselves for it. You know, we wasn't going to be bitter, no matter what. Uh, you know, because we know our mom worked hard and she always wanted to provide for us. But at this point in time, she she couldn't. You know, so everybody was like, okay, we're not getting gifts. However, we can do it. We do it. You know, that's crazy. Like she said, you not you guys aren't getting anything. And uh, my friends across the street had bought brand new dirt bikes. You know, four wheelers, and you know, I tell you, even in that lesson, it, it taught us to appreciate people even when you don't have. Because we went outside and we seen that gifts, and it was like, "Hey, man, you know, that's nice. You know, you guys did, you know, did really good. You know, we weren't hating on them or anything." And you know, probably about three or four o'clock, my mom comes out of her room uh, with all the gifts. You know, we had, you know, Xbox, uh, you know, all the games, the game system, uh, all the toys. You know, clothes, you know, we get clothes for, for every Christmas. And, uh, you know, I think the reason why that stood out to me is because not only did it show, show me to appreciate the small things, and, you know, not that Christmas is about the gifts and, and all of that, but just appreciate life itself, you know, everything that you, you've gone through, everything you've accomplished. And for the parents out there, they're not able to provide for their, their children. You know, yeah, I end up getting gifts at the end of it, but the fact that your children should appreciate all the small things. You know, my children are growing up a little bit, I wouldn't say better, but they're able to do a little bit more than what we probably was able to do, you know, when I was their age. Uh, you know, but showing them to appreciate the small things, you know, because if you're not able to buy them gifts, it's not really about that. It's about the season, like Beth said about our uncles and everybody that was there. Being in a season of, of smiling and enjoying and showing love, you know, for those of you that are fortunate, you know, show a loving yeah. hand this year to the unfortunate because everybody Daddy. isn't able to do and be able to give the children Daddy. all the gifts and, and everything that we, we, we believe, you know, during this Christmas holiday season. So that was stuck out to me, and uh, I'm actually glad that I, I was taught that lesson, you know, young, that, hey, it could be a Christmas where you don't get anything, no gifts, and how do you celebrate it? And sometimes in life you have to celebrate people even when your life is not as beautiful. And uh, I'm glad I wasn't raised a hater. <laughs> you know, I think that was what stuck out the most to me. Yeah. Bailey, uh, yeah. you got a Christmas that stood out the most to you? And what did you like about it? Oh, um, one where we got it all, and it was really good. <laughs> Why did you like that, that that Christmas so much? Was it because of the dolls? <laughs> oh, me? The people gonna sell it, man. They ain't gonna hold back. Oh, hold on, hold on. Back up, back up. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Yeah, I didn't even get ready, man.
that's the problem. We trying to sound like Chris Brown. This is what we deal here. Deal with him. I feel like the wizard talking and y'all can't see me. I'm here though. Hey, 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 hey. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, I'm fine. It is to ride on a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Hey, oh, what fun it is to ride on a one horse open sleigh. Okay, okay, my bad, my bad. My bad. Y'all see what my daddy just stop. I don't know why my daddy be doing some stuff here. Why we sit wait? Oh yeah, Daddy can do that. I want. I want. No, no, I got one more song for y'all. Right, right, right. Can you open that? No, that's what, that's what Mommy isn't ready for yet. Hey, look, look, look. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer had a very shiny nose. Mommy. Hey, look, look. I just got to be out of jail real quick. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer had a very shiny nose. Okay, y'all, we back. We done did everything we needed to do. The tree is officially done, y'all. I'm going to let y'all see it. From top to bottom. And I think we did a phenomenal job. My husband... Honda little stockings. We put the, um, the bow on our cute one to call it a star. So yeah, we still got all the decorations over here with the little candles. Or tree toppers. Yeah, the topper for the tree. Great job, baby. And we just ordered us some food. And I think we did a wonderful job getting to those details, the ribbons, the snowflakes, the colors just came together so wonderful. So yeah, we ordered our son to eat. Now we're finna eat and rest. I gotta edit this video for y'all to see before the night is over with. And then me and my man gonna watch some power if he ain't too tired. All right, y'all, so tell him about y'all. We out! Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Share this with your mama, cousin, auntie, sister, and brother, and we'll have more videos coming back for you soon.